how does the role of the student change in the flipped classroom environment? So what has to happen to make it work is the students have to take more ownership of their learning. And one concern that I've seen in my own classes, but I've also seen in other teachers' classes, is that so many students have gotten used to working in a more passive way and having class be passive. And the students who struggle with this are the ones who want to just sort of sit and get as opposed to to actually learn. I mean, I've got students now who are struggling and they're struggling because they want everything to be easy and I'm forcing them to really, really learn the content. And so it's important to train them on how to learn for themselves because there is a, you know, a self-learning piece. Uh, Robert Talbert, who wrote a book on flipped learning for higher education, brilliant, brilliant man. He said, in many ways, the self-learning aspect of flipped learning is a huge feature of flipped learning because it's teaching students how to teach themselves. And, and, and some complaints that some students have had is like, I have to teach myself. And they say that teacher's not teaching anymore. But in reality, that's a feature. That's, that's something that's good. Now, the teacher has to be very actively involved in this. So it's not like you're just going to throw out some videos and hope they stick. I mean, the videos or the readings are the introduction. I don't expect my students to have mastered the content. I have, oh, expect them to be exposed to it. But they have to learn how to do this because this is learning in a different way for them. And so it's so important to teach them, teach them how to learn in a flip learning environment or they won't be successful. 